Hey everybody, it's Shada and I want to welcome you back to my channel. This week we're going into how to use Facebook and Instagram Creator Studio to schedule your content and not have to pay the huge prices to services like Hootsuite or Later.com that charge you to schedule your content. Um, so the first thing you have to do is you have to go to business.facebook.com um, forward slash creator studio. So what you need to be able to use this tool on your laptop or on your desktop is you need to have a Facebook page. So if you have a Facebook business page, then you will be able to use Facebook Creator Studio. Um, and then also, if you want to use Instagram Creator Studio, what you have to do is your Facebook business page has to be connected to your Instagram account through your page. So once you have it connected, if you go to this URL, you're going to see that at the top on the left, you have Facebook and you also have Instagram. So these are two different um, creator studios. So if you just have Facebook, you're just going to see the Facebook icon. If you just, um, you can't just have Instagram. So if you, if you have Instagram, you're going to have them both here as well. Okay, so let's get into it. So I want to show you how you can schedule content through this tool um, and also how you can see insights through this tool as well. So the first thing you have to do is you have to select your page. So this is the drop down. This is the Facebook page that I'm going to show you with as an example. So at the left hand side, if you create, click create new, it's going to give you all of these options. So you can create post, um, add a story upload video, go live, post video across pages, multiple videos. So these are all the features you can use. So I'm just going to show you a basic um, example of creating a post. So this is what the interface looks like as of August 8th, 2021. It's changed so much since this tool is so new. It's probably going to change every few months or every few weeks. So as you can see on the left hand side, um, this is where your text of your post is going to enter into. And then on the right hand side, it's going to give you the preview of your post. So if we go down here, um, there's also this setting of colors for your text if you wanted to do that. Um, okay, so if we go down here, you can see we can add a photo. Okay. okay, so if we go down, you can see on the left hand side, we have add photo, add video, go live. So you actually can go live through here. So if you want to go live, um, you would just click this and it's going to take you to the live producer experience. This is a whole nother video that I have to do. So I'm not going to get into that, but you can, you do have the possibility to do that. So you can click add photo, add video. Um, so I'm just going to upload a random photo that I have here. And then also um, you can add your link preview. So That's something you could also do. And then if you want to tag your location, um, you can do that as well. So there we are. So the next thing is once you have your post made, um, this part is honestly pretty straightforward. So once you have your post ready to go, you can publish it right away. Um, but what's so awesome of, about this tool is you can schedule it. So if we click schedule a post, um, you just obviously choose the day that you want to post it, click save, and then click schedule. So that's it. It's pretty straightforward. Um, it's, you know, the same as scheduling content through just the Facebook interface. Um, but this is just saves a lot of time. And the great thing about this is at the top right, you can click calendar and actually get a preview of all of the content that's going out Um for your different pages. So you can have like multiple different pages. Um, all of your pages for your Facebook account will show on here. So it's it would show you all of the content you have across all of your pages. Um, and then you could select and deselect them so you can see the content for specific pages. So it's not all at once as well. So hopefully that makes sense. Um, let me know below if you have any other questions up to this point. 
So the next thing I want to show you is insights. So on the left hand side, if you click on insights, you can actually get all of your insights here. There's no need to, you know, go to Facebook anymore. We can just see everything in Facebook Creator Studio. So obviously it's kind of the same as Facebook Business Suite or Business Manager. Um, you just select the time period and then it'll show you um, all of these different insights in this interface. Great, so the next thing we I wanted to show you quickly is inbox. So you can actually go through all of your messages from your Facebook page through this tool. So um, obviously this is, a, this is a blank Facebook page. I haven't done anything with it, so there's nothing here, um, but it would all of your messages would show here and then you could preview them as well. And then on the left hand side, you can also go to creative tools. So the live dashboard is going to give you your analytics for your live streams um, or your daily broadcast. So you can see that here as well. OK, so we're going to actually go into. Okay, so we're actually going to go into Instagram Creator Studio. So I just clicked up at the top on the right hand side. So this is really similar to what I just showed you. So we do have the content library. So this is, um, it gives you a library of all of your past content published. You can click on this post status and see the posts that you have published, scheduled, drafted, archived. Um, and then you can also use these tabs if you just want to see video, photo, carousel stories, IGTV. So how to create and schedule content in here, you're going to click create post and you're going to, so you have two options. You can do your Instagram feed or you can do IGTV. So if we just do the Instagram feed for this account, um, it's a similar layout. So the caption will go here, obviously. And the nice thing about this that I find Hootsuite and later.com like services as, like those don't have um, is it actually shows you a countdown of the, the number of characters you have left, um, tags and also hashtags. So that is really helpful. The other thing that's super helpful is it gives you um, some auto suggestions for hashtags. So if I was searching for Victoria BC, it's going to give me some of the top hashtags um, that has whatever I type in after the hashtag. So that is really helpful if you need some quick hashtag ideas as well. And then obviously bottom left is the emoji bank. So you can click any emojis you want. Um, then we have add location. So I'm just doing this as an example because this is where I'm from, I'm Victoria. And then this is where you're going to add the content. So if you click add content, you would just upload the content from your computer, from your file or you could do it from your Facebook page as well. So if we clicked on this, um, it's gonna give me content from the Facebook page. So if I wanted to click this and actually post this on my Instagram instead of Facebook, um, I could do that as well. And then what you can do to save time as well, which is great, is you can actually click so it says post to Facebook at the bottom. If you click this box, it's gonna, this box just means like it's gonna post to your Facebook page as well, which saves a ton of time. Like this is awesome. So you would just click schedule, schedule it for the time you want, or you can save it as a draft, publish it now, etc. cetera. Um, and then obviously for Instagram, it's at the bottom right here where it says publish. So it's the same thing, publish now schedule save as draft so if we wanted to schedule it for whatever time save it as a draft we could do that the other thing the last thing i want to show you in instagram creator studio is at the top right um, on this tab called advanced settings if you click on this 
it's going to give you the ability to turn off commenting so you can do that within this browser and then also to write your alt text so i personally always do this for all of my instagram posts um, because i find it helps with seo on instagram so this is where you can do it because it is i don't think hootsuite or later.com um, have this option so that's also a really awesome thing that they offer so i'm just going to click out of here um, that is basically all you need to know to get started with instagram and facebook creator studio again on instagram creator studio they have the calendar as well so you can see all this content i have scheduled for the next two weeks um, they do offer insights so you can see insights here as well um, don't worry about monetization this is a feature um, that's relatively new and i personally haven't used it but maybe i'll make a video on this in the future um, and yeah, that is it. So if you like this video, please drop a comment, drop a like and hit subscribe. I would really appreciate it. And let me know below what other tools, what other marketing tools do you want to learn about? Um, and I would be more than happy to make a video on them for you. So thank you so much for joining me today. It's Shada and I'll talk to you soon. Bye guys.